Look, seem like every cat ain't gotta maintain the cap. You can make change, don't change for that. Tell the whole truth, get paid for that. Bet you never fall off, you was made for that. You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside. City with my day one. I ain't gotta worry, cause they A1. What ain't in the field, then you can't come. With us, my little shawty going stupid, going straight dumb. With us, I'm a big time, still humble in the hood. Gotta keep it positive on nothing but the good. When I'm on vacation, I be stunting like I should. Got a real queen falling, she gon' stumble on her wood. Hey guys, and welcome back. Man, it's been like personal city lately. I've got so many new personals that I wanna show you guys in today's episode. We did pick up a bunch of cool stuff. We've got Union Dunks, Union Twos. We've got the latest foam runners like the Sulfurs here. And of course, we did get the, the Sage Mist. Or is it Sage? I don't know, I can't remember all the names. We did go ahead and get the Supreme Burberry Skate Deck as well. I've been doing a little bit of work in my sneaker room, guys. And we did just go ahead and get this put up. We did get the Burberry regular print. <laughs> this is just a skate deck I've had down in my basement months or maybe a year I don't remember when the cause came out I put this up temporarily just to see what it would look like until I got the pink Burberry one in and I'm gonna go ahead and put that up here today as well but we have so much fire shoes to show you guys like these we got the new Union Dunks here and we also got the blue colorway as well now, like I said guys this is gonna be a great episode go ahead and do me a favor and hit that like button right now and the subscribe button if you haven't already as this really helps me out guys let's go and get into the video all right guys let's go ahead and throw the supreme board up here in the corner sorry about the uh, lighting i understand that this light here is very bright and it's probably distorting my picture just a little bit hey guys i'm doing the best i can I kind of feel bad taking down this cause one because over the last few days i've kind of grown partial to it so i'm gonna have to figure something out and <laughs> maybe just put this uh, board behind my door i don't want to like make this room too congested by any means i definitely don't want to see this go back down to the basement but let's go ahead and get this burberry one thrown up let's see what it looks like so i do want to point out something here real quick so there is a small flaw here on the skate deck and the reason why I want to point this out is because I have the same problem with this cause one I sold that on StockX StockX rejected it saying that it was a manufacturer flaw but here we go again and honestly supreme skate decks are notorious for flaws like this and then having StockX cancel your sell and ship it back the funny part is I just bought this from StockX here's the little sticker right here so technically this should have felt authentication guys it's so my Newt that I really don't care about that. Let's get this thumbed up. And there we go, guys. Man, take a look at that. This looks incredible. I love how both of these match now. I am just absolutely in love with the whole Burberry drop that Supreme did. In my opinion, that was the best collab since I've been in the Supreme for like the last three years. Oh my gosh, that looks absolutely amazing. But I really don't want to just put this back down in my basement, as I was saying. So I was kind of thinking about behind this main door here, maybe doing some decks right here, like maybe four different ones, like one here, one here, and then two on the bottom on each side. What do you guys think? Make sure to put a comment in the comment section below. All right, first things first, guys. I am rocking the Sakai Blazers today. And this is like my second time wearing these and I literally just wore them to the grocery store and back home. But these shoes are very uncomfortable. Like, does, if anyone can recommend some sort of insoles to put in here, that would be amazing because I actually think these are a really good looking shoe, uh, despite them being bricks, not going for much money. But it's like standing on a rock for me <laughs> and it's just not comfortable. But I guess what do you expect with like 1970s technology or if you guys have any recommendations for insoles i would love to hear it and not just for these shoes but for really any shoes in general make sure to put in the comment section below so what is going on guys welcome back to the channel what is going on with our drops lately like there has been nothing dropping at all today we had the sold for 450s and i almost felt compelled just to check out something <laughs> but i had to come to my senses and i realized you know not every single week i have to buy something which is actually a pretty difficult task by the way did anyone see mag 
Mech in the last couple of days. How Mech literally started checking out random items on random websites. Guess what? It ended up happening to me and man, what a hassle. I got seven pairs of shoes, all bricks, and I'm working with a merchant to try to get all these canceled, which is absolutely insane that this would even happen. Mech did come through with uh, giving everyone like two extra months on their renewal though. So that's like equivalent to $90 in value uh, for the hassle. But at the end of the day, it's still a hassle. I'm, I'm definitely working for that $90 to try to get this resolved. And here's the kicker guys, is I was in bed asleep when this took place. And here's another kicker. My laptop lid was closed and sleeping. So at some point, my laptop woke up from a nap, even though the, the laptop lid was closed and mech was still running in the background apparently. <laughs> Got a bunch of checkouts. It makes absolutely no sense as to how this even happened to me, but it did, and now I'm dealing with it. We did go ahead and get in several items from StockX. You already saw the skate deck, but we did go ahead and get in the Argon Union Dunks here, which in my opinion was one of the best colors to come out. I did get the pistachios for retail, which I had sitting up on the sneaker shelf. I ended up selling those because they weren't my size, and I really didn't even like that color to begin with, but these are absolutely fire, guys. And because I got these, I started looking looking at the core purples and I decided, you know what? Those are fire too. I gotta have them. So I ended up getting these. These just came in yesterday. I've never been a purple fan of anything. I don't wear Lakers colors or anything like that, but for some reason, I was just really attracted to this shoe. So I went ahead and picked these up as well. These are for personal. Uh, we did get a size 12, but wow. I mean, just take a look at that purple sole. Now I did go ahead and wear these. So these, you know, do have a little bit of dirt on them. Personally guys, I think these are gonna be the perfect summer shoes. I'm so happy that I got both of these pairs. Unfortunately, I did have to pay resale, but considering I got the pistachio for retail, it kind of evened itself out, especially for this Argon pair here, which is probably my favorite of the two, but uh, honestly, I love them both. Now, with all the Union hype, I was really disappointed that I wasn't able to get the twos. I've never even purchased a Jordan 2 before, or even looked at them, to be honest. But we did go ahead and get in a pair of the Union 2s as well. I did get all three pairs of these from StockX. And with this being my first Jordan 2, guys, I gotta tell you that my first impression is these shoes seem pretty stiff like especially the upper here like I'm really proud that's open it just seems really stiff the tongue is stiff this ankle liner is stiff I just I don't know about this one guys and you know, I thought these were really uncomfortable I probably will keep these just because I do think the colorway is very unique the point I'm trying to make is this color goes with anything and I love the blue accent so of course with the yellow Union LA tag here moving on we did go ahead and get both foam runners the sulfur and the sage here and we got these for retail which actually I got these I want to say the last time they dropped this is like the first time and then with this one of course I got the other day I think I got these on exhibition yeah we got these on exhibition both of these are a size 12 but something I want to point out guys with this being a MX style MX meaning it's a mixture you can kind of see some of the different colors here especially around the hill these are actually manufactured in China these with it being a solid colors manufactured in the USA when you have both of these in hand and guys these are both size 12 the China pair, the MX pair, this one, the Sage one here, is actually wider than the US pair. Not only that, but this is way more stiffer. Like, this is not, this honestly feels like a DH Gate model that I bought. And I did buy a few different DH Gate models of these. I even bought a couple Chinese reps that were supposed to be the best of the best. This feels identical to that. It's pretty hard and it's not comfortable. Now, this on the other hand is extremely soft, but when trying both of these on, of course, this one fits absolutely perfect where this fits a half size too small which is crazy because they're both size 12. I just thought I'd throw in my two bits about the sizing on these in case anyone was wondering. But of course we will be trying on all of these shoes just to show you guys what they look like. So let's go ahead and get into that right now.
Let me just start off by saying out of all the shoes that I just tried on, this by far was the most uncomfortable shoe and maybe even the, one of the most uncomfortable shoes I've ever worn. I know I started off this video by saying those Sakai blazers were really uncomfortable. Yeah, I think this one tops it. Let me know if these things break in because I actually really like this shoe. Like I want to keep it, but if it's going to be that uncomfortable and that stiff up here at the top, I just can't wear it. I just, I, it's just too uncomfortable for me. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So be sure to write a comment below and let me know if these things do loosen up after some time. I gotta tell you that these two have to be some of my favorite purchases of 2022 so far. And lastly, guys, I did decide to keep this as a personal. This is my first foam runner I've ever decided to keep for personal. So I'm really happy about this just because this particular one goes with basically any outfit, any time of the year. This is the perfect one where this yellow sulfur thing, it's not movable, it's not pliable, and it fits really narrow. It's just a half size too small for me. I, I would almost recommend going a full size up in these if you guys are on the fence about them. Yeah, true to size definitely did not work for me. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If, if you guys did like the episode, make sure to like the video and subscribe as this really helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks.